It's March and spring is right around the corner, so it's time to get started with our spring cleaning. We all tend to keep things past their prime, especially beauty products. So today we're going to freshen up in our segments, out with the old and in with the new hair edition. Mm. I figured I could use a little help for um, an expert, and I know just the man for the job. Come on out here, Robert. We gonna get some good tips right here. Let's okay. do it. So Robert, tell yes. everyone what it is you do on the show. I'm Robert, and I do hair. It's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> and it rhymes. Okay, that was amazing. <laughs> now you know just how to revive our hair care routines. Will you help us out with some things? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. All right. Anything you need. Where is Crystal? Come on down. Right here, you brought everything out brought, the house, the huh? Goods, oh the Lord, goods. that's wonderful. <laughs> Can you tell us what yeah. do you do, actually? I um, I'm actually a business owner. I have a business providing consulting services specifically for nonprofit organizations. Nice. Yeah. You're beautiful. <laughs> so Thank gorgeous. you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, wh what do you have here? What do you need help with? Uh, these are vintage. So uh, <laughs> I love I, that vintage. <laughs> <laughs> How vintage are they? Uh, this is about nine years old. So my curling iron is very special. You have to click the on button about seven times. But I've got it down now. I've got it all figured out. You didn't think after the, the second, third time you should buy some more? I just kept going. I just kept going until it turned on, and I, we found the sweet spot. Oh, I see your face, Robert. What do you have? Well, you have a problem is what you have, first of all, because <laughs> And it's like if your car takes seven times to start, you might want to get your car service, right? So, yeah, it's time for a new one. Yes, Definitely time yes. for a new one. And, and what is this one here? Oh, this beauty right here. I mean, so do we all remember the wet to straight oh, um, straighteners? I do very well. <laughs> but listen, I am a mom. I'm short on time. If it's a little damp and it sizzles a little bit, you know, we just got to go. We have places to be. That's <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone, right? <laughs> and, and the reason she says sizzle is because it literally, while your hair is damp, it was an ideal situation or idea that it pushes the moisture out while it's drying at the same time. So you eliminate one whole process in the blow dry of your hair. You don't need to blow dry anymore. You just flat iron it and it'll dry it and straighten it. But because of the sizzle, if any, you should only be sizzling in the kitchen and the bedroom. <laughs> Those are the only two places you should sizzle. That means that it was taking out the moisture too quick. It was pushing the water out so fast that it was creating dryness to your hair. So again, we're trying to avoid any further damage to your hair. So I would say get rid of both of those. I would love to. Yeah, Thank sorry. Because <laughs> that sizzle, that sounds like something's on fire. It does. The sizzle's never good. Kitchen and bedroom only. Okay. <laughs> He's serious about that. <laughs> what about oh, heat damage? Like, what can you do for heat damage? Well, for heat damage, what I suggest anyone, your iron should not be higher than 350 degrees. And that's high. Mm -hmm. So what you do once you're at 350, if you have color in your hair, subtract 50 from that. If you have bleach in your hair, subtract 50 from that. If you have a relaxer in your hair, subtract 50 from that. So that way you know you're going to pretty be, be down to about 200, 225. So that way you keep lowering according to how many chemicals are in your hair, and that'll help you prevent excessive heat damage. Okay. Because if, if we use the 50, then we may burn our hair out. Yeah. Except, and some of them have up to 450 degrees on there, but that's only designed that? for keratin straighteners. Okay. So if you're getting like a Brazilian straightening, a keratin straightening, it needs to be 450. That's why they're making all the irons with 450. That doesn't mean take it to 450, because you will have no more hair left. I was just about yeah. to say that. I think it goes kind of high, that one. It, it How does. high does yours go? I think it has a number. Let's see. Can you still see the numbers on it? Right, that <laughs> part. Oh, no. You know, it has numbers. I don't know what they mean, though. So <laughs> who really knows? Yeah. It goes to 30. Is I there an expiration date for when to get rid of these? Not like products, but the manufacturer's suggested like warranties are usually one to three years. After that, if you start seeing your <laughs> iron seven times to turn on, that's your expiration date, right? <laughs> nine years. 
I mean, it doesn't take rocket science here, but there is no expiration. But if it doesn't get hot like it used to, that's an indication that the motor is burning out. Blow dryers are the first to go. If you start hearing it sound different or all of a sudden it just starts smoking, that's the first thing that happens. If your hair dryer, dryer starts smoking, you better get rid of it. Right. <laughs> Right. Oh, so. no, we don't want any parts of <laughs> no. that. Okay, Crystal, you ready to get rid of the vintage? I would love to. I know vintage is in, but I think it's, they got to yeah. go. Okay, okay. Well, you want yeah. me to do the honors? You, you take should one and do, I take should one. we do one together? Yes, okay, because we're going to bury this, honey. Let's have a moment of silence. A moment please. of silence. Here we go. Oh, that's yes! Was so good. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. The old and in with the new crystal. Yes. I want to give you a brand new shark flex style hair tool. Come on out, oh, just oh for you. Shut up. Is that how old you are? If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.